This morning, the Alzheimer's Association of South Dakota hosted their annual walk to end Alzheimer's in Sioux Falls, raising money to support the work that they do to advocate care, support, and research. Parker Brown has our top story tonight. It's an inspirational day. It's by far the most hopeful time we've ever had with this disease, and today was a culmination of that. Hope might be just around the corner. It's been a long fight for everyone with the Alzheimer's Association. It's an unprecedented year. Including Leslie Morrow. This is my 11th year with the Alzheimer's Association, and when I started, we didn't have a way to change the course of this disease. We were only treating the symptoms, and that changed about a year and a half ago, two years ago. And now we have treatments that get at the underlying cause of this disease. Alzheimer's disease impacts thousands of families across the state of South Dakota, best visualized by flowers in the crowd. Now take a look around you. A garden representing people who are caring for a loved one with the disease, lost a loved one to the disease, are living with it, or are supporting the cause. Dr. Lewis J. Hamilton lost his grandmother to Alzheimer's right as he began studying aging in graduate school. He has since devoted his time to volunteering and raising money for the Alzheimer's Association, last night becoming part of the Champions Club. I think about obviously losing my grandmother and I don't want my kids to have that same story with their grandparents or their kids to have that story with me. So as somebody who studies this disease, the value of a community coming together, working towards a cure cannot be understated. Looking through a sea of purple shirts and flowers raised high, there's optimism that the momentum can lead to a cure, a white flower symbolizing the first survivor. It tells me that it's not just my story, that it's a collective story that we all have. And if you look around, that's why we're all here. Morrow and Hamilton know that this moment is important, but it could be just the start of hope springing up from the ground they march on. We have entered into the era of treatment. It's a new day. In Sioux Falls, Parker Brown, Dakota News Now.